Hello everybody, Phyllis Inc, back again with Raid Shadow Legends and I thought I would just show, show some champions their builds, their gear referring to a video earlier in which I cleared the Dark Elves uh, Faction War Stage 21 and I never really expected to, I did it like 4 times before, failed every time but something went right, we got the victory and as you probably heard in the end of it, my kid just got home, so I did it just in time. But Marsh to completed with that team. Did not need Caden. Just kind of kept it control. So let's quickly just show you the team. And then I'll show you the gear that I used to beat this faction. As you can see, 63. Got the bottom, 3 stars. And the team was Silar, Vizix. Two Cold Hearts and Painkeeper. We'll tamp on Champions. I'll show you all the builds. So we've got Silar. We'll quickly we'll just check. She is fully booked in a stun set. She's just fantastic in a stun set. I don't think she's got Masteries, but she's constantly proccing. She has nice speed. Nice accuracy, she stays alive, she has enough defense for that. And she's there to stay alive, decrease turn meter, pop decrease speed, land stuns, help control the enemy. And I got from stage 17 to 20 on one night because of Silar. Such a fantastic champion, I cannot say enough about her. Literally, from I was stuck on maybe 16, I could do it. Invested in her, 17 to 20, the enemy like never took a turn, so she's in a stun set, max stats, 36.3k HP, 2.8k defense, 248 speed, 334 accuracy, now she works really well, in my opinion is this champion up here, probably is, with Vizix. Has no masteries, but I believe she has books. Not fully booked out. So we're missing a few. Yeah, not one landed on single combat. It never does. But she's in perception. And a few broken pieces. And she's the same. Not necessarily damaged. Just got HP. Got some defense. She's quick enough to land what she needs to land. Which is to provoke. Um, she's just badass at it. Just quickly, this is the start she had, 53.5k HP, 2.9k defense, 213 speed, 337 accuracy. Uh, we also had, so we've got a Sila, we've seen her. We need to find Cold Hearts and Painkeeper. Painkeeper is just Clam Boss. Uh, and she's basically there for that vital heal, the A2. She helps with the abilities, obviously she'll reduce them by like one turn, which is nice, um, yeah, and she boosts her turn meter, so, solid champion, clan boss, high HP, 42k, 2,500 defense, 221 speed, and that's pretty much what she wrote for that one. This is my broken, broken-ish built gold heart. She's there for damage, as you would expect. Multi-hits on the first two moves. Uh, yes, it's like the health one that stops them healing, but it kind of works. Shusha has decreased accuracy, something else. Just strong. We're there for the Heart Seeker, though. And that's why we had two work in tandem. Make sure we could kind of control the Terminator a little bit. 38.6k HP. Attack 2.2, .2, defense 1.6, 195 speed, 74%, so over 70%. Could have bought it with 100, but 70% on works because of the buff. Uh, 270% crit damage, 284 accuracy. She lands what she needs to land 100% of the time. And this is my other one Perception set and Cruel set. And she's there for damage also. As we'll see in the video, Heart Seeker, just damage, turn meter, fantastic combination, so lower HP, 31k, 
3k attack, 1.5k defense, 177 speed, so slower. Same crit damage is higher just because she's built at 70%. Lower accuracy could be glyphed at 226. And that is the team. Uh, I won't take you through a run. Just check out the previous video. You'll see it in its entirety. And you will see just how fantastic these five champions are. So if you're on stage 21. And you have these champions. Then this is. With some good RNG. And controlling the moves you do. You're going to get past it. Pretty much it. So that's how I did it guys. I'm going to cut it there. I'm Villa Sink. Thank you all for watching to the point if you have. Please be sure to like the video. Stay safe. Keep on reading. See you in the next one.